Hi everyone, in today's video I want to invite you to spend a week with me in San Francisco and I'm also gonna show you the most magical guest house we stayed at in San Francisco West Portal area. So if you're interested then keep on watching. Okay, so this is our beautiful guest house and here is the bedroom you can see there. This is the patio with amazing, amazing views of San Francisco, Twin Peaks area and this is our living room slash kitchen. As you can see we have a fireplace, some super tiny TV which we didn't, I mean we tried using it but it was way too small so we just used our laptop but yeah you get 360 views of san francisco which is insane because this airbnb was cheaper than any other airbnb we stayed at if you are interested just message me on instagram and i will send you a link i i want to go back to that place so i don't want to you know just share it publicly like that but just message me and i'll give you a link so yeah this is a pretty nice space you get i mean fully equipped kitchen uh, there was everything if you needed to cook at home it was everything was there so uh, i bought some stuff from trader just which i'm gonna show you later but yeah you get a, even like a little toaster oven there was a microwave hidden away here but yeah you get a nespresso coffee machine with some pots it was all complimentary all the food all the waters all the alcohol they left it was all just free for us so that was nice you know it wasn't like a hotel uh, that you have to pay for everything so yeah you get like all this like coffee equipment if you were a coffee lover like there was a chemex there was just everything i didn't even end up using it because i just love my cold brew and i bought like so many cans of it so i was just using my cold brew but yeah you have everything here uh, literally everything you need to cook and it was yeah everything some even batteries i guess for maybe fire alarms anyhow uh, lovely decorations honestly it was like everything was very like thought out definitely the owners thought about everything and yeah they even left some like picnic equipment i don't know maybe some games yeah just some extra stuff uh, there's uh yeah spices salt peppers yeah basically everything you need like even some teas they left for us some tea bags and here they even left some ice i didn't use but this gnocchi i just you know i love sweet potato gnocchi from trader joe's so i had to buy it and they left all those drinks all the waters for us even some prosecco some beers so yeah that was nice of them we don't drink alcohol so we didn't use it but all the teas all the coffees are ours there's a charcuterie board which they made for us which was very sweet we didn't end up eating it even though i wanted but like it just i, I had no time to like actually enjoy it so yeah all that stuff we bought from trader joe's even there's some caesar salad which i got because like most of the days i would just eat at home i actually had a lot of work to to get through so it was nice that i was able to just quickly cook something at home oh and these cookies like i think they call them madeleines they are at costco and they are amazing you can get them for like nine dollars like a whole container of them so of course after i had a taste of them i was like i gotta go to costco so i bought them and they were amazing oh and i got the sesame miso salad with salmon at trader joe's which i haven't seen these in la but i saw that one in san francisco and i was like oh my god that sounds amazing i need to try it and it was really really good so i can highly recommend this this was delicious uh yeah all the salads from trader joe's they're pretty good and you can get them without protein and you can add your own protein or just just eat it <laughs> by itself but it's pretty cool awesome lunch idea oh and this was my glass from this morning i drank some cold brew yeah what yeah we have some jerky here which we bought for the road trip i love this archer brand this one the master barbecue with zero sugar like that's insane it's so good it's a little spicy uh, i hate spicy food but this is bearable like it's it's pretty good the original flavor is not as good so i definitely prefer the master barbecue even though it's more on a spicier side but these are really really good so i highly recommend trying them if you haven't already oh uh, yeah we also got some other snacks like the the uh, 
I want to say sweet potato chips. No, they're just potato chips. When we were driving, because we stopped at Lenardi's in Walnut Creek. Oh, this is our protein powder. I brought some sponge because I wasn't sure if like the one they had here was used. But no, they actually gave us like brand new sponge. So I didn't end up using the sponge that I brought with me. But uh, yeah, basically we now drink protein powder in the morning instead of like making eggs for breakfast because Tony found out that he's allergic to eggs. So that's a bummer. But honestly, I feel a lot more energetic after eating protein powder for breakfast but yeah this is just a receipt from Lenardi's in Walnut Creek we just got some water and some snacks and we were charging our car over there so we did like a little stop there but uh, it's a very cute shop if you're in the Bay area like it's so nice um kind of reminds me of Bristol Farms in LA but yeah this is this amazing amazing view and yeah, here is my workstation. I will have to, yeah, I can't wait to, to eat that salad. But let's go to the bedroom. Yeah, I need keys, I need to grab my keys basically. I need to lock this up before um, leaving. Technically, like it's a it's such a safe area, the West Portal, especially in the hills. I honestly didn't need to lock it up, but for some reason, like I live in LA. I live in LA, so I'm a little paranoid, so I would always just lock it up anytime I'll go to the bathroom in this the bedroom area, let's say, because there is no bath there is no bathroom in the living room slash kitchen area, unfortunately. I wish there was because that would be great. But uh, yeah, I'd had to use the a bathroom in the bedroom and here's what it looks like you get all these windows there's a ton of light honestly i wish there was some like curtains like next to the door because the light would come in literally it was the, the house was facing this side of the house was facing east so in the morning you would get this beautiful beautiful light but also obviously it would wake you up pretty early so it's something to keep in mind if you don't like to wake up early you would hate staying here because Every day we would literally wake up at 6 as soon as the sun would hit and yeah, so you can't really sleep in. But here is some closet space, mostly like, you know, full of comforters and blankets for guests in case they get cold. But yeah, the, the bed was insanely small, like I think it was smaller than full. It was super short and super like not very wide. It's fine probably for one person, but for two people, like it was tight and we're just pretty small people. So something to keep in mind we actually told the host that it would be nice if the, the bed would be bigger and this is the bathroom the drawers wouldn't close fully i think because of the humidity which was honestly insane in this bathroom as soon as you would take a shower even though we would ran the fan sometimes i would even open the windows just to get the humidity out and it was just impossible and this fan this fan actually came with a heater which is so cool i have never seen something like that it's super cool uh, you can it's basically like a, a ceiling light fan and the heater in one maybe that's why it doesn't work as well but the heater worked pretty well it's just the fan didn't really work i don't know why maybe they it needed to be cleaned or something but wish the sink area was a little bigger i have to keep all my other stuff like over there on the desk yeah they left us some fancy parachute <laughs> ropes here which was nice you know they really tried to make it feel like a hotel so that was nice there was a heater behind that door but yeah it just a part of the extreme humidity in the bathroom that wouldn't go away it was a very nice very well maintained guest house honestly really beautiful and those views uh, you know but yeah it smelled a little musty inside of the bedroom uh, i think because of the bathroom problem but i mean look at that it's it's pretty cute right oh and there was a heater here they left the heater for us which was so nice because it would get cold like it would be like you know in 50s at night so it was nice that there was this heater i think the walls like in every single building in san francisco are not insulated so it gets so cold that it was nice to have that heater but that's that's it for the airbnb yeah honestly a really really nice day i just had a beautiful like super relaxing weekend and that's exactly what i needed <laughs>